Hi there, I am Becky Velote from Newport News, Virginia, and I am a Creative Memories Advisor. Um, and I love Creative Memories, and so I can't shut up about it, but today is Tip Tuesday and I need a tip, and I'll have to tell you, this Tip Tuesday thing is really becoming a little bit stressful because I have to keep coming up with ideas. <laughs> so far, so good though. I'm on a roll. So today, what we're gonna talk about um, is this star banner um, punch. A lot of you have it already, which is super cool. So I'm gonna give you some ideas on how to use something you already have. If you don't already have it, you should grab it. Um, we had a great new product release this, uh, this week. Um, not everything is in yet, but you should go check it out. Um, especially if you like to go to say like SeaWorld or Universal or Disney. It's it's great fun outdoorsy type um, themed type fun carnival look. Anyways, you should check it out. But for now, let's go ahead and um, take a look at some ideas. <laughs> By the way, if you are interested in making a little bit of money, word on the street is some people don't have work. This is a great fun thing that you can do at home. Um, I started this business with my kids were, were little and have been doing it for years. It's a, it's a great, great business. All right, so the first thing what I, I wanna do, and you may have already seen some of these ideas, but I just wanna remind you of some things that you can do with this. So this is actually what the, um, the Star Banner Punch looks like. This is the trash that falls out of it. So it looks like this, and you can just put them back in um, if you like that look, which I kind of do. All right, you also can cut yourself, and this is probably like, um, probably three and a half inches. Um, so you can cut yourself a little journal box and just use it as a, um, just a regular punch, punch, um, to get this look, which is really fun on, um, for a little uh, journal box. All right, this one, um, I do like to mix my border punches together. Um, you may have seen this one where I mixed the heart-to-heart -heart border punch with this particular one. So I think that's a great one. So this came out with United We Stand, which if there is any left, it is on Last Chance. So this was a very patriotic um, pack. Um, our military folks, I feel badly for you because I feel like often we don't have products to support the military. However, the 4th of July um, pack, the United We Stand, is actually very good for that. Um, sadly, it's it's seasonal. So if you um, are a military family and you always are in need of things like this, um, I would see if it's there now. And if it's not, check with your advisor to see if maybe they have one in stock because it's a great, great pack. All right. Um, here's another one uh, where I did uh, I did the banner um, one right side up, one right side down. Put a piece of busy paper in between to give that really cool look. All right. So these are just standard looks that we can do with that border punch. Ton, very cute bunch. By the way, all of these pages were united. We stand. All right. So then I did a tip Tuesday one time to show you how you could use the same border punch. Um, get rid of the stars to kind of give it a different look. So this was kind of a birthday themed paper. Um, and I, it's actually botanical burst and I just kind of, I thought it looked kind of festive. And so I did it and then I, um, put little hearts on top of the stars to give it a totally different look. Did the same thing here across the top. I kind of actually just added one of the, just a piece of this across the top. And I popped, um, the little hearts there with thumb square. So I don't know if you remember that one. All right, so you're saying, Becky, you've showed me all of this, and I have, but some people are reviewing. All right, so I wanted to show you a couple other things that you can do. So first thing I want to do, in case I have any folks out there that don't know how to use our border punches, because we have a whole line of border punches, is um, they have little lines right here that tell you where to put the paper in at. So if I put my paper in just like that, it will be lined up with that line. All right, and that's that tells me that I have it in where I want it to be. So when I punch it the first time, it's gonna give me my first punch. To get my second one, what I'm, and I don't normally pull it out like that, I'm just being very dramatic. All right, <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna put it back in. And um, there's this blue pattern on the outside. So what you wanna do is line up what you've cut with something prominent like the little star. So that little star that cut out 
um, I'm going to line it up there. See, I shouldn't see any of the, 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 um, I guess this is kind of a aqua blue. I should cover everything so that only silver is showing. I hope that makes sense. So that's how we do these borders so extremely fast is that we have a pattern that we're just copying it up to. So it's genius. It's faster than a cricket and it wastes less paper. So when you punch, like I said, you do get <clears throat> these little scraps that are very useful if you want to put them back in. You also get little stars that you can use for something else. Some people like to kind of save those. And you also get this little scrap, which I think is kind of cool. All right. And there's some other ones that are smaller that, sh that are enough to make you mad. Um, but those are nice, good scraps that you could use or something. So I wanted to point that out. So that sometimes you might not want to throw away all your scraps. Sometimes you might want to use those. All right. So today what I'm going to show you how to do is some ideas that you can use if you don't leave it as a border. Okay. So if I don't leave it as a border, in fact, if I go and cut, cut it up and where are my scissors? Here they are. Um, so I'm just going to cut a few off and then I'm going to show you some things that I've done with them while they're separated. All right. So, um, this one, what I did is I kind of, I, I wanted it to kind of look like a garland because I've added balloons with pop, um, foam squares here. I gave them a little bit of pop to make this a nice festive birthday border. So I wanted it to kind of look like, um, I don't know what they're called. You all know what they're called. Um, they kind of, garlands, I guess. They kind of go like this. So in order to get that look, I had to cut it up and then um, just piece them back together in the form that I want. Okay, so that's how I did that. And like I said, I popped them with the balloons that come out of our groovy, cool balloon punch. All right. And another thing that I did is I laid them opposite one another. So you can get this look, which looks totally different. You could even overlap them to get another totally different look. Um, kind of like a bow tie, right? Something like that. All right, but I kind of kept them separated. And then I added a little anchor, another one of our groovy cool punches uh, to kind of give a little nautical look there. Is that super cute? All right, so think about what other kind of punches would look really cute over top of that. All right, um, before I cut it up, <clears throat> um, one thing I wanted to point out is they almost could look like waves. So our Coast Guard people, our Navy people, um, if you left it the way it was and maybe threw a couple of um, maybe inter intermixed the anchors with the stars, I think that would make a really nice themed page um, for your uh, for, for, for our military folks. All right, so that takes care of that. I don't know if I showed this kind of close up. See how cute that is. All right, and then another look that I did is I just took the loose pieces and threw them down. Uh, again, I put the anchor, but you could have put whatever punch you wanted on top of it. Um, I thought, um, and then after I did it, I cut them into ovals. I could see these as be super cute um, border embellishments. So, you know, something like that on the bottom of your page. Okay, so I know this is pretty simple, cool. Um, and, um, I know that I'm not telling you anything genius, but I hope it sparked your imagination nonetheless. And I hope you'll go use your star banner punch. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and y'all have a great day. Bye.